Welcome back to We Happy Few. Now that we're dressed up as Nick Lightbearer, it's time to go pretend to be them in the Simon Says competition. Not entirely sure what Simon Says is exactly. I thought I knew a while ago, but then it turns out I was thinking of the wrong thing. Anyway, let's take some joy so we can get through this thing. Happiness is a choice! Goodness, Mr. Lightbearer, is that you? Yeah, baby! I'm the Lightbearer! Love me! Have you been getting enough to eat? You look thinner than in your pictures. Yeah, we, we don't really need food. Did you know? It's just an illusion. If you think about it hard enough, it's ridiculous. It's so animal. We're higher than that, you know? But you have to eat, don't you? Music is my food, baby. I live off the vibrations. You just have to tune in and you can live forever. Shit, I should have asked for cookies. We're so happy to have you here at St. Genesius. Did you know he's the patron saint of epileptics? The church isn't nearly as old as it looks. We had some rebuilding to do after the bombings. Oh, sometimes I forget where to stop history and just jump ahead to the present. And that's our organist, Mr. Shrapnel. Did you know he's deaf? But Beethoven was too in the end. Oh, look at those lovely prizes. With that medal, you'll look as shiny as a brand new penny. We've got quite a crowd today. I don't know why they dress like that. What do they do if it itches? Looking good. You love me. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so grateful to be able to present to you our celebrity caller, the famous singer, Mr. Nicholas Lightbear. I am a golden calf! Love me, babies! I live on your love! Live my love, babies! Are you ready to follow instructions? OK. Now, if I say Simon says do something, then you have to do it or you're out. But if I don't say Simon says and you do it, you're out. Oh, if you get zapped. Oh, uh, that's right. And you get zapped. Are you ready, Hamlin Village? Um... I don't really know how this works. Hop on one foot? Sure. You're a pogo. These guys are good. I'm gonna have to get into a rhythm and then trick them. Run in place! I've gotta be clever somehow. Simon says... Simon says what? How does this work? Simon says... Uh, slap yourself, spin in circles, do a twist, touch your toes, pelvic thrust, pat your head. Maybe spin in circles so they get dizzy and fall down? It's all around you. Okay, so spin and then, I don't know, touch your toes? Maybe they'll fall over? I've got to mold them into a full sense of solid state. Game, I think you think that I know what Simon Says is. I don't. Simon Says! I am your god! Simon Says that? Okay, so I gotta press Simon Says and then do the thing. Simon Says! Throw your back out! <laughs> Simon Says! One hand clap! Simon says, helicopter. Simon says, who's a good dog? <laughs> what am I doing? Simon says, 
how do I win at Simon Says if I'm just pressing this stuff and saying do the thing and then everybody's doing it and nobody's getting it wrong? How would they even get it wrong anyway? I, I don't understand how I can even win this. Where's the competition? It looks so silly. Oh, I don't have to press Simon Says. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm starting to get how this works. You people are enjoying losing a bit too much, you know what I mean? So that's the competition aspect. Trick them into doing something because we don't say Simon Says, and they think, oh, maybe they said Simon Says, so they just do it. Okay. Simon Says! Wake yourself up! You stepped on a nail! Damn, they're good. Hmm. Simon Says! Hips up! Which way are you going? I've got to meld them into a full sense of Simon Says. So I think I just have to keep making it easy for them and then do something different? There we go. You people don't listen. All right, that's a bit too easy, isn't it? How about if I make it a bit harder? Simon says, get dizzy. Simon says, world's smallest racetrack. Twist in the wind. No. Oh. Sloppy work, constable. <laughs> Alright, that's a bit too easy, isn't it? How about if I make it a bit harder? Simon says, I am your god! Simon says, slap your face! Keep your hair on! You people don't listen! Alright, that's a bit too easy, isn't it? How about if I make it a bit harder? How am I making it harder? I'm just doing the same Simon thing. Simon says, you're a pogo. Simon says, do the twist. Go nowhere, boss. Damn, they're good. Okay. Simon says, maybe I need to lull them into a false sense of Simon says more than I did before. You stepped on a nail. Simon says, world's smallest racetrack. Simon says, which way are you going? It's all around you. These guys are good. Ooh. I'm gonna have to get into a rhythm and then trip. I gotta do it a lot first. Simon says, head still there. Simon says, hips up. Simon says, bow down to me. Simon says, wake yourself up. Simon says, Monopod! Simon says... Run in place! Simon says... Twist in the wind! Get dizzy! There we go. Sloppy work, constable! You guys are fantastic! I love you! Do you love me? Love me, babies! That's all there is! Simon says... Helicopter! Simon says... Which way are you going? Simon says... Go nowhere fast! Simon says... You're a pogo! Simon says... One hand clapping! Simon says... Scratch your feet! Throw your back out! I didn't say Simon says... You guys are fantastic! I love you! Simon says! Simon says! You stepped on a nail! 
Simon says, show me your love. Simon says, do the twist. Simon says, slap your face. Simon says, it's all around you. I am your god. Sloppy work, Dunstable. It's not supposed to spark like that, is it? That's worrisome. God, oh my god, they're ashes. It's not touching the ones on the floor. How do I get out of here, though? I've got to turn it off somehow. <laughs> that one just turned into nothing. I didn't even. Switch. They just disappeared. That was an odd mixture of funny and confusing, and then eventually, after just a little bit, really monotonous and repetitive. <laughs> that was weird. And everybody's moaning in pleasure. <laughs> okay, I need to turn off a s switch. I need to escape. I'm gonna get zapped if I go here? Oh, I put away my rubber suit, didn't I? I didn't think I would need it, and it was kind of heavy-ish. Damn, I wish I could wear that right now. Okay, yeah, that works. Oh. No, it doesn't. Unless... I think I can do something funky. Nah. Is it not going to shock me? Oh. This, if there's a switch, it's probably... Oh, I thought that went upstairs. Nope. Um... Hmm. Ooh. Dad wants to know if he can come in the bedroom. Okay. Are you wearing clothes? Yes. Percy, just a shirt is not clothes. I mean, technically it kind of is. I could see Percy's confusion. For the poor. I actually didn't read that note until after I took all the sovereigns. <laughs> um, there. Have a rubber duck. I, I don't think they'll recognize that that is a donation because it's not even in the basket. The. Deactivate the electricity. Is it up here? Yes. Now where did they say that metal was? Sorry, Mr. Shrapnel. a lot more musical. Or there's a lot more musical with that instrument. The 
Teen Biscuits. Do join us for Teen Biscuits as we bid farewell to our vicar, who has gone on holiday in anticipation of his retirement. They're still just all moaning with pleasure. Shredded raincoat. Oh. Oh, that's that's what I needed. For the the like old person dancing in dangerous fuel. How long are they gonna lie there like that? Good question. skill points Ooh, that should be enough to buy I I think I was saving up for something unless I already bought the thing I was saving up for throwing distractions will cause more of a distraction plus one NPC attracted plus 50% distraction duration oh I can't buy that actually but that would be quite good actually backstabber attacks on unaware enemies do double damage <laughs> When undetected, but the thing is, if I'm undetected and behind them, then why don't I just do a silent takedown? Or a, you know, non-lethal takedown? Why bother hitting them? Man, I would love to be able to choke out taller enemies. Bobbies and doctors. Yeah... Let's get unburdened so that we can then after that get big game hunter. So it's going to give us plus 25 pounds carrying capacity in my inventory, which is pretty huge. Now, I have an idea. Oh, I can't save. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. What do you think this is going to do? I have no idea. Maybe nothing. Maybe they're going to glitch out and vomit from the floor. I don't know. Oh, it did nothing. All right. Oh, I need to take joy again. We're Over time, for noise. Papa Joy. Over time, joy abuse can cause you to have a memory last episode when you're forgetting things. People will notice you're feeling guilty and upset, and that will make them angry. You also have less stamina to deal much less damage and have trouble crafting or interacting with the world. Keep an eye on the memory loss tracker that surrounds your joy meter. Yeah, it doesn't. If I'm not mistaken, the joy meter surrounding, or the the memory loss thing surrounding the joy meter, that bar doesn't seem to ever go down. Or if it does, it's so slow. Like, I don't know if there's much I could do to avoid it. Maybe I should just, like, force it to happen once I get super close to having a memory loss episode and just do it somewhere safe where nobody's gonna notice me and I'm not gonna be in danger. Mm, the rain thing is back here. Oh, we have a dig spot that I found up here. Whee! Don't play in the puddle too vigorously, you'll fall through the world. Oh, kept in shape. Oof. oh, this is considered trespassing. Oh. That's the one that did it. Okay, that didn't go great. Pace yourself, Arthur. Apparently I don't have a shovel on me. Oh, I think I dumped it because I thought I have an axe, so I don't need it for a weapon. Which is true, but I do need it for digging. <laughs> Let's give the shredded raincoat to this person over here to get him to stop playing in or around Hello, the motelline. Did you bring me a raincoat? Sorta. Oh, lovely. I can make something out of this. You are a dear. Oh. Wait, I also need a sewing kit. Have you got one? I 
Apparently I don't. Do I have one stored away? Can I craft one? Hmm. Well, I think I should just go back to my base, see if I can craft one, see if I have one stored away. And also grab a shovel so I can get to the dig spot. Don't have a sewing kit, and I can't make one, but I did grab a rusty shovel. So let's get in here. Like that. Okay, that didn't work. I... Wasn't I crouching in there? Oh no, I'm seen. Shit. Okay, let's try this again. I don't think the camera thing is above me like it was before. I don't understand why I'm crouching in here and it's not saying you're concealed. Now it is, but like, how were they seeing me before? Wait, what? Requires a lockpick. Are you telling me I don't have the stuff to make another lockpick? Has it finally happened? I've run out of bobby pins? Alright, I ran away from them. Now I'm heading up to the next part of the main quest. The English Vice talks to the Megiddo Bridge Bobby. Because ultimately I think we need to get over here to yeah, visit Dr. Faraday. But that's on a different place that requires me to get across a bridge. I just came across this shady dealer, though, back here. Hearing weird noises. Oh. Hey. Come on over here and unpack your drink. <laughs> right? Let me see. <laughs> I love that picture. Creepy fuck. Alright, I actually have a lot of money. Boiler suit. Fit in among workers and raise no suspicion when fixing traps. Where to conform in construction areas or municipal facilities. Ooh. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. I should get that, right? I just wonder if I'll find one. So maybe I shouldn't buy it. No, just, bah, just buy it. I'm good on gas masks. Broken helmet. Protects the constable's head rather less well than it used to. Reduced damage received. Hmm. I mean, it's some armor, but it's broken. Can I fix it? <laughs> this would probably make me look odd in public, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't think I have a lot of black powder. I could probably use some. Crash. Flushes all the joy from your body. Zeroes out joy level. Does not reduce withdrawal or memory loss symptoms. Oh, okay, that's meh. That's not really worth it then, I don't I don't think. It's super cheap though. Yeah, I'll buy a couple. It's really cheap. I'll buy some black powder. And let's get the broken helmet. 256. Nice. That's a power of two. I'm not going to save my money up for nothing in particular. Then I'll just never spend it. Is anything worth selling, I wonder? Like, that's worth like 40. I don't think anything's really worth selling. Some darts. You'll pay money for bottles? I do have way too many of them. Yeah, that's fine. I also have a lot of flash. That's also worth almost nothing. So, never mind. Alright, that's fine. Thanks. 
Got some of the good stuff back here. Oh, I can't even get back there. Yoink. Grapefruit juice. in the fence of houses. Is there anything in here? Looks completely barren. Mrs. Chippy Park. Let's go check that out. It's got a cat statue. I love it already. Lovely day for it. You know, I think someone's looking for you. That is an incredibly small slide. Oh. Um. Well. That was fun to play. Hey, you need a uh, number two? I can do a takedown on them, apparently. From any angle, pretty much. Yeah. I'm on the tip of the cat. I don't know whether to think about him in the present tense or the past tense. Can I jump on this thing? Eh. Oh. Ooh, I'm kind of hurt. I'm starting to go the wrong way. I'm so glad I got the thing that allows me to sprint and nobody cares. About this later. I'm going to start drinking the grapefruit juice, by the way, because now I have like a bunch of it. So it's obviously not some super rare thing. Excuse me, I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motoline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either, and that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, <laughs> at the Reform Club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, Bonchon? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Bye. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs. And they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these. In case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. Phenocycling injection thingy. Okay, so this is where plague starts to be a threat. Great. Wonder what that's going to be like. If you're not a flower or a downer, the garden district is not for you. <laughs> I 
and a renovation being beautified for your enjoyment. Please do not enter until it's ready. I bet you it's very easy to get into places you're not supposed to be in this game. Just abusing the climbing mechanics and stuff. Lud's Hole. That's where they quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. No going back, huh? Did we just get a new note? Something was added. Guess it wasn't a note, but it was something else. Music box plans. This friendly tip brought to you by some such or other. What? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Meet the neighbors. Find the hatch on Lud's home. Yeah, I should secure a hatch, like, right he away. He's just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run! No, if you don't please. want to end up like him! So they're plagued. When he turns. Oh, they're gonna get zapped. If it went through there, they would have been zapped, I think. Oh! Don't you get zapped when you go through that? Oh no. Oh god. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Is there just a chance that you get the plague with like every hit or what? How does it how does it work? Search people that have the plague. What we've come to. Like, I wonder if it could give me the plague. Um. Oh god, there's like spores everywhere. You, death, get away from me. I was just thinking. Should I kill them? Is there a? I mean, I guess there is a cure, right? Unless they're in too advanced of a state, but I mean, I was given phenocycline jab. Remove symptoms of plague. Caught a bad bug. Phenocycline can cure plague if administered early enough. Late use only suppresses symptoms temporarily. Use solely on your doctor's orders. Okay, so yeah, once people have it as bad as we've just seen, then I guess it's not curable. Just suppressible temporarily. So it's not like I should try to jab somebody like this to, to cure them and make them all better. Ugh. All right. Find the hatch on Lud's home is there apparently. Let's go straight there. I should probably change my clothes, huh? It's kind of weird what I'm wearing. Let's try the helmet. And then... I could go with the boiler suit. <laughs> It'd be weird. Let's just go with a proper suit, whatever. Although maybe I should be wearing rags. Should I be wearing rags? Let's see how people respond. I probably should be wearing rags. Yep, 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 they're starting to freak out. Uh, well, I should be able to just tear them up, right? Yeah, torn suit. 
Easy enough just to rock in a proper suit. Okay. Still started to activate them, but maybe it'll be okay now? We okay? There are flowers out here. The worst of it is we did things the Germans didn't even ask us to do. Yeah, we're fine now. Root cellar, as much as I want to check that out. Let's go to the hatch. Home. Hey, buddy. Just relax. Don't question it. Mum's been worried sick. I was... I was riding the subway. All day, back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, until it closed. Was I supposed to pay again? No, you're not supposed to run off like that without telling anyone. But I was having so much fun. You wouldn't have let me ride. No, no I wouldn't. <laughs> no I wouldn't. Do you remember 1939? I was five years old. We went places on the subway. With Mum, before she got sick. Yeah, I remember. I never forget anything. I think this place is going to be filled with enemies. Judging by the fact that there's a flashlight here, it's called Let There Be Light, or the quest is, the current objective is Let There Be Light, and we've just been introduced to plague carriers. I'm thinking there's going to be plagueies down here. How do I use that flashlight again? I really just don't remember. It would be considered a gadget? Yeah. How do I use you? Oh, there you are. On the number three, I just gotta get you up. Looks like he was trying to get out. And something ripped him apart. What a jolly place to go exploring. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking I shouldn't feel bad about killing the plague victims, because there is no cure. I mean, there could be one in the future, maybe. I don't know. I hope my torch doesn't go out. I hope there aren't any giant rats down here. I hope I don't die feeling terribly stupid. That's my biggest fear, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a... plague person down there. This was really creepy. can't see anything. Do they not react to light? I guess they don't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. This is a problem. Uh, I think I should switch to the axe. this to each other. Yeah, I just can't have a flashlight and a weapon out at the same time. It's just not possible. Oh, <laughs> no. 
Are they scared of the light? Is that what's happening? It seems like they're kind of reacting to the light. Yeah, what are you going to do about that, huh? Hurts, doesn't it? Sorry. All right, let's get these damn lights on. affects them. Did they just I think they just completely disappeared, didn't they? I better patch this hole up before I have any uninvited visitors. Oh god. Razor wire and just blood everywhere. Oof. Requires one loose screw. Do I not have a loose screw? I guess it's probably stored away, isn't it? We'll start exploring this place. What's that? Crash blueprint. Here we go. So screw. Yeah, there we go. I just need one. Ha. Ah. Another plague jab. I guess someone got out that way. Oh, there's another one. Could get in. I better pause oh. this before I get unwanted guests. Yeah, I can't even. This area isn't even secure until I repair the holes, which makes sense. There we go. Now I can come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. Torch is now available in my journal, so I can now craft it. Sweet. I think there's a bunch of new things I can craft. I feel sort of bad for them. This was their home. I suppose I don't feel bad enough to turn off the lights, though. <laughs> no, same. Double knocker blueprint. Rick the stunt duck. Rick the stunt duck? That sounds amazing. Just sorted my inventory a bit. Let's check out the new recipes. Nothing new for the chemistry set. Hmm... Double knocker, I think that's new. It's obviously just... I mean, it's just... <laughs> I love... <laughs> I love how a lot of the weapons in this game, the progression of them is just... It's the same thing, but you taped another rock to the stick. That's hilarious. There's double rolling pins, double knocker. And yeah, it's just purely an upgraded version of the head knocker. Exact same effort and speed. Which doesn't really make any sense if you think about it, because two rocks on the end of that thing would be a lot heavier, but... Yeah, it's basically just an upgraded version of it. Moderate damage, not very durable, can cause stunning heavy. Music box. Well, he's loved to gather to listen to a jaunty tune. Distraction device. Oh, I've seen a lot of 45 RPM records. But yeah, I never had a thing to put in them. I need advanced machine bits and a record. Rick the Stunt Duck. This is an odd duck indeed. So odd that everyone will tend to pay attention to it for a few precious moments. Attracts the attention of multiple targets and leads them away when thrown. 
Also need advanced machine bits. And a power cell. Just... How advanced is this stunt duck? That's a lot of things to invest in something that is, I think, one-time use. I can make a torch now. Just requires an empty torch and a power cell. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I guess there's no reason to make it right now. Because I can make this anywhere. And then crash. Strange meat. Oh, I don't like that. And then some common stuff I have. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... I'm not sure if I'm going to go to Faraday's house right away, or maybe just explore Lud's home in general. <laughs>